Hey guys, and welcome to Grill Stadium. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. I am excited because today we are rocking something amazing. I love apple pie, right? But today we are gonna rock apple pie on the Traeger, which is just fantastic because that uh, oak apple cherry flavor of our Ace Reserve blend pellets, to me, is like apple pie flavor in a bag. So we're gonna start off with oak apple cherry. We are gonna add some cool ingredients into this pie. I've got a really cool gadget today as well. Uh, one of my most favorite chef tips, this beautiful little apple core. But we've got a solid recipe. I'm excited to get in here uh, and have have some fun, fast and easy prep today. We don't have a ton of ingredients, only about a 45 minute cook time before we have some amazing apple pie. So thanks for joining us. Let's get the Traeger fired up first because we don't have a lot of prep work to do today. So we gotta get the grill started first. Thanks for cooking with us. We're gonna go ahead and start the Traeger up nice and early because we need to get this going. Prep's not gonna take long today. Cooking temperature today, 385 degrees. So we'll get that all dialed in. Hit ignite, now we are set to go. We've got this loaded with our reserve blend pellets. We are getting set and ready to make some amazing apple pie. All right, you guys, it is food flyover time. Let's talk a little bit through the ingredients today. We've got Honeycrisp apples and Granny Smith apples, just that beautiful yin yang of sweet and tart. So, so fantastic. Then, hey, we're keeping it easy today. So we're using a store-bought pie dough that already comes in the tin. Great, flaky, beautiful pastry style pie dough. So good. Then for the topping, guess what? We're gonna do a little cobbler topping on this. Uh, so we have a cobbler topping in a bag. We add a little bit of butter, we are done. Hey, here's my chef's tip. If you can't find a cobbler topping, you know what may work just as well? A little oatmeal cookie mix. That's right, that is perfect. Now, seasoning off the apples, we are gonna start with some granulated cane sugar. Uh, that is a half a cup of cane sugar. We have a half a cup of dark brown sugar, just beautiful, rich molassesy flavor. We have two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch. That's gonna help make sure that our uh, pie is thick and it's not juicy and runny. The flavor today, definitely getting some beautiful cinnamon flavor then a little bit of allspice as well. So that is solid, pretty easy ingredients. And you can see Traeger's already rolling some smoke. So we've got to get ready and rock and roll. My grandma used to make the most fantastic apple pies. And one of the things I always loved watching was when she would work her magic on the apple core peeler. So I went to my local Ace, I grabbed one of these guys, put the apple on there, we washed them, peeled the stickers off, go ahead and load your apple on there. And now it is as simple as look at that, right? It peels and now it cores. What I like to do, push that guy on there just a little bit, all set and ready to go. And then when you get to the end, You'll hear a click, and now you can take that apple off. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one little slice through there, cut those guys down a little bit smaller, but how's that for simple, simple prep? Now that we're done, we're gonna go into a bowl with a little bit of lemon juice. We are all set and done peeling. Now what I'm gonna do is carefully, so you can see that, right? We'll cut these guys in half. We're going right into the bowl. Then once we get all these guys in the bowl, it's time to uh, hit them with a little bit of lemon juice because we wanna make sure that they don't turn brown while we're finishing up the rest of our prep. All right, so we'll add our lemon juice in there, get that all mixed up. We'll add the rest of our apples, let these guys sit for a little bit. Next, we're gonna show you how to make the uh, seasoning and the flour that's gonna help keep this apple pie nice and thick. It's time to make the seasoning part of it. And part of the seasoning is also a little bit of flour and cornstarch to help uh, everything tighten up and thicken nicely. So we added our granulated cane sugar. We're gonna add our brown sugar. And like I always say, I love dark because I like that molasses-y uh, texture and that molasses -y flavor. Uh, look at this, a little bit of cornstarch, two tablespoons there, two tablespoons of flour, and then we're gonna add that teaspoon of allspice and the teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, we'll get this all mixed up. Apples are all ready to go. We've got our pie shell, a little bit uh, room temperature, so we'll go ahead and add that mixture on top. Now what we'll do is go ahead and <laughs> Get it all over our chef's coat. Uh, we'll go ahead and mix this guy up real good. Get everything set. We want to get all that sugar, flour, cornstarch, everything stuck to these apples, okay? So now that we have that done, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and top this guy. 
Last part of this flavorful equation is the crumb topping. So I've got some, uh, I have five tablespoons of room temperature butter. You don't want it melted because uh, the, it, it just gets weird, right? So we'll go ahead and take that. And all I'm doing, you guys, if you can see that, I'm just squishing that butter into the crumb topping and getting everything all mixed in. My uh, chef's tip, if you want to get this done a little faster, I use both hands. Go through here and just give it a good pinch because, you know, we're just trying to incorporate all of that crumb topping and butter together and get it dialed in and ready for this pie. So now that we're set, let's get this moved over here. I'm going to go ahead carefully and get this crumb topping onto the top of the pie like so. All right, before we go on the Traeger, one of the things I want to show you, let's say you are just a little bit nervous about your uh, pie shell getting too brown. So what I will do is I will actually lightly cover that with some foil to help keep the outer edge from getting too brown. We have the ironwood all set and ready, preheated at uh, 385. We're gonna go ahead and go in the top rack, but I'm gonna go just towards the front because what I'm trying to do is make sure it's centered side to side, front to back, uh, ensuring I get a beautiful, convective, wonderful, wonderful wood-fired smoke. Close this up. We're gonna let it go now 30 minutes uh, before we come and check on it, and then we'll pull that foil off for the last 15 minutes, let that crust brown up nicely. Look at that beauty. So we are 30 minutes in, time to take the foil off. Uh, and now, as you can see, we're gonna start getting some brown on the crust. We'll rotate that just a little bit. We're gonna close the lid, let it go for another 15 minutes. Oh man, the whole backyard smells like apple pie. We are done, 45 minutes, all set and ready to go. We'll grab this guy off here, get it over onto our cutting board. And you guys, seriously, that pie perfection. All right. We're gonna get up close, show you how we slice this. I don't know about you, but um, if my neighbor's yard smelled like apple pie, I would climb the fence to get some of this. Uh, super fast and easy, a great recipe, right? Uh, the Traeger added just amazing smoke and more. Hey, if you wanna grab today's recipe, you can head down below to the description section where you can click, print, and follow along. You can grab today's recipe and like we always say, add it to your Ace Hardware playlist. Then while you're down there, don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what would you like to see? How can we be more helpful? Then while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Let everybody know it is time to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. Other videos coming up. We've got amazing content coming up at the end of today's video. We're going to show you how to make some fantastic tragified dishes, really imparting that wood-fired smoke flavor into the simple, wonderful things you cook every day. I'll tell you what, this guy right here, the star of the show, but more importantly, it is time to uh, grab my spoon out of the ice cream. We'll come in nice and close. You guys, look at this, seriously. Churro ice cream on top of my apple pie and I brought a spoon today, of course, and uh, my helper gets to uh, quality control as well today. So cheers.